this is Lucas Shaw, and though I've been doing videos for a while with The Wrap, with our new site we also have a new segment. It's called Hollywood Torrent, and in it I'll be talking about the film industry as well as the growing overlap between the entertainment business and the technology business. Now today we're going to kick it off with the game of musical chairs that has been happening in Hollywood executive circles over the summer. Now usually Hollywood studio chiefs lose their jobs after they failed at something or after a string of movies don't do well. This summer you've seen two very successful executives lose their jobs right after their greatest successes, Adam Vogelson at Universal which just happened yesterday, and Jeff Robinoff at Warner Brothers, which happened earlier this summer. The two cases are very different. Now, Robinoff seemed to want out of his job after he's passed over for the post of running all of Warner Brothers, including the TV studio and the home entertainment business. He made his displeasure very known in the company and then stopped showing up for work. However, this came after Robinoff shepherded Warner Brothers to an Oscar win with Argo, and he rebooted the Superman franchise with Man of Steel. Fogelson, on the other hand, was completely blindsided by the move that left him without a job, and it came after he just seemed to accomplish the unthinkable. He turned Universal around this summer, releasing Despicable Me 2, the year's biggest animated movie, Fast and Furious 6, the most successful movie in that franchise to date, and The Purge, the beginning of the latest micro-budget horror film franchise. Now despite those track records, both those executives are out of a job. Now Hollywood, like most other industries, hires people often based on familiarity. Hollywood film studios, professional sports teams, and many others will hire people who did a poor job and got fired from their previous job just because they know them. Now in the case of Fogelson and Robinoff, you have two people who did a good job and still were, are, are available. So who's going to hire them? 